I'm one of those who do not believe the earth is round anymore. I used to believe it for all my life. Not anymore. There's too much things that doesn't add up. You know what I mean? Too much things that says we're living on a plane, not on a fictionary ball. And it's because of videos like what I'm going to show you that flat earthers are growing by the day. And once you go flat, you ain't going back. That's just what it is. It's just what it is. So they're hiding God, more resources, more land, and ultimately they're going to try to enslave humanity under the climate. You know what? Can't say it on YouTube. But anyways, look at this video. I'm going to show you like this guy is going to drop a screw out there in space, which should be impossible. So you can fix it around cables. And uh, so you need all these things to, uh, to keep your stuff in place because otherwise you lose it. It just floats away and it doesn't fall down. He drops it. Again, take a closer on and get a little bit of a close up. Oh, there you go. he dropped it. Supposedly in outer space, give me a complete break. Another close up. And I wonder what the people that believe in space travel are going to say about this. Look at this. Now take a look. <laughs> and you heard it drop. You heard that screw drop and he looks down. Okay, let's play that again. He's looking for it. He's searching for it. There you go. And you heard it drop. You heard that screw drop and he looks down. Okay, let's play that again. He's looking for it. He's searching for it. There you yeah, go. that's not that cannot happen out there in space. So exposed, but this is what it, what it's all about right here. It's not about gravity. It's about buoyancy and density. I'm going to read that for you. Look at this. One egg will drop and one egg will float. One egg has salt in it. Uh, one glass has salt in it. That ice thing or whatever is in the middle of the cup now. One floats, one does not. What do you think gravity is doing there? Why doesn't gravity take the other one, the non-peeled uh, fruit there? Why doesn't gravity take that one down? You see, it's not about some imaginary, fictionary center of gravity. That's all bullshit. They've been lying to you, man. They've been lying to you. Wake up. Anyways, buoyancy and density is what it really is. And let me just read that before I end this. If an object's average density is less than that of the surrounding fluid, it will float. The reason is that the fluid, having a higher density, contains more mass and hence more weight in the same volume. The buoyancy, buoyant force which equals the weight of the flu fluid displaced is thus greater than the weight of the object. If something is more buoyant, then it is more, then it is more likely to float to the top. It has lower density. So 
So if you put something in water, all you have to do is think about how dense it is to figure out if it will sink or float. If something is more dense than the water, like a heavy rock, it will sink. Listen, regarding this thing, you may think, ah, oh, what well, does it matter if it's flat? It matters everything. They are hiding a creator. They're, they're limiting, limiting uh, land. What if there is way more land that you are not aware of? Which means more food, resources, everything. You know what I mean? What if that actually exists? But they they made this ball to to make you not look because there is nothing more to see, right? Space is fake. Space is fake. We don't know what's up there, but you know the the saying, "The sky's the limit." You know, that seems to be true. The sky is the limit. Literally, that's the limit. You ain't going past whatever that is. 